I didn't put the rates in, so I went to my um, GitHub repository. I'll just show you really quick what I did, except one thing, which 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 are the lights, um, because I had to set the mode for that. And you'll have it here in the video. Just user one, aux three, and then from 1500 to 2000. Go here on the right hand side. Actually, you can't see anyway. So we'll put that there. You go here and then you click download. But I would still recommend like reading everything, taking notes so that you know um, what 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 might work and what doesn't work. Sometimes I've crashed. You've seen some of my videos where I'm playing around with it and, and stuff just disappears. If that happens, you know, it's best to know what to do because if you don't have internet, see there's a fixed solution and you don't know what to fix, then you're pretty much out of luck until you can get to internet. Then we go here, open it select all but then you, you know you also learn more but um, when you're not just flashing it so what I'm going to show you is luck you see um, on here on the uh, here see how we have here aux 3 for there that's going to disappear when I reflash it uh, with what I just downloaded because we didn't I don't believe we did the lights in the beginning you do that copy and paste it in everything will work I'll do I'll go I'll, I'll, I'll show you how to add light so by default, that's how the motors spin in these weird direction. Uh, I did nothing to the motors. As you saw, I was about to. Uh, I was like, you know what? Let's just leave it. So apparently, maybe it's some sort of omnidirectional. I believe Beta FPV had mentioned something in the comments about how these motors spin opposed to the other motors that you, you know, your, your quadcopter has. Uh, opposed to the Cinewoop, maybe. Uh, if there's a difference in that, share, because I don't know. Uh, all I know is that um, they spin differently and um, weirdly and I they don't let's say when you go to the motors chart it spins nothing um, in the way the motor chart uh, says they should but just leave it somehow it works like the bobber in a sewing machine that just uh, has its magic all right so we go here see there user one Oh, it's already there. Okay, so maybe I did add it. So we'll go here, click save. But if it's not, I think it should have been 2000 though. Uh, yeah, so maybe move it a little bit right there. And then now it'll work. Okay, and click save. Because if it's not, if, you, if your modes aren't in the correct position, it's not going to work. Uh, just to make sure, receiver is an S bus. Yes, and we have our, what else was there to check? Ports, which well, we know it's working. So I just want to make sure we can close it. You got to be fast because remember, once that battery overheats, you are roasted. The O3 air unit. All right, here we go. Um, put that there. We're pressed for time, man. Not only do I have to be somewhere, move everything out of the way. Wait for that beep. Oh, and make sure you're in angle mode, because if you're not, the drone will act like, you're like, oh no, what's wrong, what did I do? And it's not you, it's not me, it's you. All right, let's see. Wow, the temperature is really hot. It's fine. I think the cable's broken. Let's go. Beeping. Whoa. Messed up. Okay. Alright. Okay. It was the um, cable. So if you get an MSP error, that means your cable's not connected. But now I'm going to shut it off because it's too close. And as you know, I will get your drone up and running. But I don't give flying lessons. All right. Rise up to the occasion in your FPV drone. Get your part 107 so that you can spend all your money. It's 
so fluid. It's so nice and like, like, smooth. Whoops. Smooth, like the, when you fly it, it just like flows and like, like butter. And the other Pavo, um, Pavo version one and, and Pavo, Pavo version two was not like on the joystick. If, if you, if you've flown the Pavo Pico version one, um, the throttle thing is like fucking insane. And if you fly the Pablo Pico version two, it's okay. It's good. It's still shaky. Um, but this is like freaking, I think it's because all the bumper guards it's gotten there and the layers upon layers of, um, protection. Like it's a pain to take apart because there are different layers you have to undo. And I can see how all those layers are just creating a smooth flight experience. That's like, holy shit. Um, make sure you're in, um, angle mode because if you start up in another mode the drone just goes bonkers and I, I don't fly in those other modes anyway but or fly in whatever mode you fly in um so it shouldn't matter but i just love how it it's phenomenal like can't see but hold on it's just so it's easy to hover whoops like real really easy to hover like it's so easy to hover it's unbelievable the rates of this thing and also the, thanks to the FPV unknown rates because you saw it when I was bouncing um didn't do that it didn't go like crazy and that that there's something and i'll put it in show notes because that's also thanks to fpv unknown um that helps with that but this is just oh interesting i need to um tighten it because as you can see um it's a little loose but it shouldn't be loose but it, even though it was loose it was still steady so i have to um figure out i have to do the screws on this thing again which is fine it's just tricky because as you can see there's so many layers upon layers of screws and if you do one bolt wrong one is off and you usually have to shim it another way and that way but we know it works the afix uh, solution is there for you because fpv has their own uh um uh rates up in the um uh, github repository afix solution because he was online when we were doing that one um and um, who knows, maybe, maybe, maybe someone else will get their own rates if we get that one out of the box. But there's something else I wanted to do. Oh, I actually have to rebuild the um, Pavo Pico version 2 and the Pavo Pico version 1. Because um, those uh, flight, and this is the Pavo Pico 20, those are shot. I, I, I attached them to the ESC configurator and can't for the life of me get them to work anyway that's pretty much it i hope this video helped you if you have any questions or comments please leave them down below or ideas for other videos remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you all next time